Hey everybody, Dr. Ben Edwards here. I'm the founder of Veritas Medical. Um, for the past 12 years, been practicing more integrative functional type medicine, more holistic, and really the past two years honing in on true wellness, which involves more than just diet. It involves your thinking, but diet is important. I want to talk about that just for a minute because I've had two patients in the last week, both tell me that their doctor told them, no, diet, food has nothing to do with this. <laughs> One of these patients has an autoimmune disease called Crohn's, which is a disease of the GI tract, the, the small intestine and the large intestine get ulcerations because the immune system attacks that tissue. The other patient has rheumatoid arthritis. It's an autoimmune condition. But both of these people, totally separate, actually different states, were told the same thing. And I hear this all the time. And actually, I used to tell patients this too. Why would doctors say this, especially with Crohn's, a disease of the gut, food has nothing to do with it. It's because they weren't taught. They didn't get any nutrition lectures in medical school. I got two hours in four years. Most doctors get zero. 80% of medical schools don't teach it at all. So we didn't know. We assumed we learned everything there was to learn in medical school to help you but we learn nothing about food and food drives most inflammatory processes. So I want to share with you about autoimmunity, this book, the maker's diet. And guys, there's lots of different diets out there. We endorse eat real food. That's the main diet, eat food made for humans. That's called real food. This particular diet, Jordan Rubin had Crohn's disease, autoimmune disease, completely reversed it with food. Amazing. And he's not the only one. There's thousands of people that have followed his protocol. Gaps, Gap Stories, Gap's Diet, Natasha McBride, she has a book on autoimmunity and using the Gap's Diet, and here's all the stories, symptom-free. Now, a doctor would say, oh, those are anecdotal. Those are just case studies. And in the evidence-based pyramid that we're taught in medical school, you don't give much credence to an anecdotal case study. You know, your grandma ate some herb and she got better. <laughs> You're not supposed to really listen to that. That's what we're trained. Don't listen to anecdotal stories. But when there is definite physiological reasons as to why these diets would work, and guys, here it is, 80% of your immune system's in your gut. It's called the gut-associated lymphatic tissue. It resides just the other side of the intestinal wall. The food you eat and the microbes that are in the gut talk to the GALT. If you have an autoimmune condition, your immune system is overreactive in some ways, and in some ways it's underreactive, it's imbalanced. So if 80% of your immune system is just on the other side of your gut wall, and it talks to the microbes in the gut, and there's a connection there, probably the food that you eat will have some relationship, and it does. That's why there's autoimmune paleo diet and so many other ones out there, guys. Unbelievable the number of people that are being healed when they put the right food and get the wrong food out. And it's not even food that most Americans eat. 70% of what Americans eat is ultra processed food like substances. It's not even food. So, absolutely, it's demolishing our health. So, with all due respect and to my colleagues and not trying to throw them under the bus, and I have sympathy for them, they didn't know about the Maker's Diet and Jordan Rubin. They've never heard of Dr. Natasha McBride. And they just weren't taught how food matters. Even though Hippocrates said, all disease starts in the gut, let thy food be thy medicine, and thy medicine be thy food. I'm telling you guys, doctors just aren't trained. They're not taught. Doctors are in America are getting the worst outcomes. This is a big reason why they're not fully educated. They're very narrowly educated. So my library here at the clinic, full of continuing medical education that I've consumed since my graduation day. For the past 12 years, we've been practicing more holistically, and a lot of it's in these shelves back here behind me. Lots of knowledge from ancient days and from years gone by before the pharmaceutical industry was funding all the research and all the medical school education curriculum and all the doctors and all the hospitals <laughs> and the whole system. We have the most expensive quote unquote healthcare system delivering sick care, symptom treatment only. The reason is we're not getting to the root cause, the root cause related to what you put in your mouth, what you put in your mind, what goes through your eyes and your ears every day, what you see, think, hear, feel, all that's important guys. We weren't taught that in school. Seems like common sense, 
but doctors aren't taught common sense. We're taught intellectual book knowledge from a pharmaceutical with a pharmaceutical influence. So we're going to bring you more education from the Veritas Library in the future. That's it for today. If you have an autoimmune disease, you can get well. You can put your immune system back in balance. It's designed and wants to be back in balance. You got to give the body what it needs, avoid what it doesn't. You don't have to suffer with autoimmune disease for the rest of your life. That's what both my patients were told. They're both already 50% better in a matter of weeks by eating real food. So you can do it too. Start incorporating God food, not man food, and you can be well. But I can't ever let you go without reminding you, it's not you are what you eat. It's you are what you can digest and absorb. And your digestive process depends on stomach acid. And those stomach acid pumps are innervated by a nerve called the vagus nerve. And that vagus nerve responds to your heart, not your beating heart, your beliefs. Fight or flight, rest and digest. You go fight or flight mode through the vagus nerve to your stomach acid pumps, turns them down. Now you're not breaking down that good food. You're not getting good gallbladder and pancreatic function, continuing to not break down your good food. Your microbiome is decimated when you turn down your stomach acid pumps. So eat real food, but also clean up your thinking, your heart beliefs. The truth is what will truly set you free. So keep seeking the truth, and we'll keep bringing you some truth, and we'll see you next time.